This video brought to you by jadedpainting.com. If you need your miniatures painted to a tabletop standard, check out jadedpainting.com. Hey everyone, hope your weeks are going well. As always, my name is Jay. I need a haircut and this is another commission painting update. Today I'll be showing you some of the models that I recently finished for a couple clients, both of which are chaos. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done a commission painting update, but it's just because I've been a little busy, but I've been definitely working on my commissions and I just want to show you some models that I've done uh, to give you some ideas and to show you what exactly I am capable of. Obviously, as I just mentioned, I am the owner of a company called Jaded Painting. Our website is www.jadedpainting.com. Link right here. If you click on it, it'll go to our website. And yeah, so if you just, I recommend checking out our website. I think you'll really like it. Uh, definitely think of us for your commissions. Our prices are, I think, pretty good and pretty competitive. And we try to have a good turnaround time. We're currently booked up, I think, for the next three weeks, uh, probably till mid March. But if you aren't in a rush, definitely check us out or you can contest, contact us directly at service at jadedpainting.com. And uh, without further ado, here are the models. Hey there, so first up we have this Chaos Space Marine Rhino, painted up in the black and white color scheme that the customer requested. Basically the customer showed me pictures of his models and I designed a Rhino to match it. And the gunner at the top is the same exact color scheme as his normal Chaos Space Marines. So pretty cool. The customer wanted the Rhino built. I, I, I built this model myself. I, the customer just sent me the kit and the customer requested th this weaponry, the bolter and the launcher. Pretty cool stuff. And I just built it for him and put it all together. I, I think it turned out really cool. I tried to do a bit of, uh, just a bit of wear and shading along the edges of the white so that it wasn't very dimensionless. Uh, the difficulty when painting black and white, as you're probably well aware, is that they're both very dimensionless colors. It's hard to shade black and it's you can't shade white unless you use gray or black. So I tried, I did my best. So on the grays, as you can see here, I did edge highlighting. Sorry, on the blacks, I did gray edge highlighting to keep it, you know, popping. And on the whites, I added some gray and black shading. It's a relatively simplistic color scheme, but I think it turned out really nicely and uh, really effectively. And the customer really likes it, so that's great. You know, I love making customers happy and uh, that's what I'm about. And that's what Jaded Painting's all about, you know, standing to our customers' wishes and making things look pretty cool. So, yeah. And then uh, the spikes at the top, pretty cool. So yeah, it turned out really nicely. Uh, the customer didn't want any weathering or anything, so I just kept it clean. But that's it, you know, just a pretty standard Rhino, but I think it turned out really cool. So as you can see, I can definitely paint Chaos Space Marine Rhinos if you want. Very cool. And up next, we have a Chaos Space Marine Heldrick. As you guys saw, I painted the Heldrick a little while ago with lightning patterns. This one, I went a completely different scheme, as again, for what the customer wanted, black and white. And the customer specifically wanted a black bodied Heldrick with white trim. And it, it's a very simplistic color scheme once again, but it turned out really cool and I'm really happy with it. Um, again, it's the difficulty of painting two dimensionless colors on top of each other. Um, for this particular one, I did some testing and I, want, I tested, you know, painting the white first and then black on top of it, which would have been easier, or painting black and then painting white on top of it, which is harder, but it looked much nicer in the end. So in the end, I just, I sucked it up and I wanted to give the client an awesome looking model. So I took a little bit extra time and painted the white trim over a black primed miniature, which was quite lengthy, but yeah, it looked really cool. And I'll zoom in on the face here. As you can see, I made his eyes red. I believe you guys can see that. So yeah, it looked really cool. And I just wanted the red of the eyes to just stand out a little bit from the body. Um, there we go. So yeah, a little bit red, dark red eyes or well, relatively bright red eyes compared to the uh, the white and black head. And I did all the metallics, all the all the exposed wiring and the bale flamer on the model were painted just silver and a, a bright silver, just to do a little contrast once again, as well as all the talons and everything on the model, which you can see here. So very cool stuff. Zoom out. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out really nicely. I, I'm very happy with this. The, basically, the Heldrake is a really difficult, uh, it's a relatively difficult, just lengthy 
model to paint because there's a lot of trim, especially if you go the trim route, there's a lot of trim to paint. And uh, you know, it takes a bit of time. And it's also a little bit difficult of a kit to put together relative to other GW kits, but it's not too hard in the end. You know, it was a lot of fun to put together, a lot of fun to paint up. And I'm happy with it. I'll just show you the base quickly. The base, uh, for the basing scheme, the customer wanted dead grass. So brown earth with dead grass. Uh, the customer had a really cool idea showing like the is chaos is the embodiment of evil and so when evil flies over living things they, they would die so he figured that as the hell is flying over the grass all the grass beneath them would die so i used uh, citadel dead grass and i just painted i used large granule sand and small granule sand and just painted it up a couple shades of dark brown so it's pretty cool and uh, it, I like the, the the fact that the dark brown and and dark and very very light putrid green of the base is a really nice contrast to the black white and silver of the uh, the Heldrake. So that's you know that's a, it's a really nice contrast, and I'm and I mean, in the end I'm very happy with uh, the way that it turned out. So as you can see, I can definitely paint Heldrake as well, and I would love to paint your Heldrake if you want me to, but. Uh, here it is one more time. I think it just turned out really cool. And yeah. And finally, we have a Chaos Warpsmith. Uh, I've done, if you want to check out how I painted this guy, just check out my Chaos Warpsmith painting tutorial. Uh, except for the, in this case, instead of reds, I painted purples, which is what the model, sorry, the client requested. This is actually for a different client than the previous two models. I just finished painting them very close together and I figured keep all the chaos models together. That's why this model has uh, dark gray rocks um, on the basing instead of the brown of the previous model. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out really cool once again. The client just wanted a very similar color scheme to what I did for Mini Wargaming Dave, but instead of reds, the customer wanted purples. So as you can see, there's a lot of purple on the model. The tongues are purple. Uh, the inside of the claws are purple, the wiring's purple. But uh, yeah, it turned out really cool. Uh, I, I like this resin kit. I had to try to fix the, the sword as much as I could, the axe, sorry, and that's the best I could do. It came up really bent in the kit, unfortunately. It was just a, one of those kits that you can't see from the outside because it's in a box. So I did my best and the client is still very happy with it. I, I work very hard to keep the miniatures in pristine condition before I paint them and to get them as straight as possible. That way, you know, it looks as nice on the tabletop as possible. And as I said, I mentioned I just painted some large granule sand, uh, dark gray. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, turned out really nicely. I like the gold. And it's a really cool model. It's a really 3D model. It has a lot of, you know, posing. And it's I, I like it. It's not very It's a very dynamic model. It's not very static at all. It's kind of like the evil Dr. Octopus. And... Uh, yeah, he's just uh, really cool, and I, was, I had a great time painting him up too. So, but yeah, I love the metallics, the gold trim on it really does pop. I used three different gold colors so that it really stood out, and uh, it really just stands out and pops, and I think it turned out really cool. And the client is very happy with it as well, and so I'll be sending this out to him as well. So it's really cool stuff. So I'm getting a lot of chaos commissions, but uh, I love painting chaos. So, and I love to paint your chaos. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this Jaded Painting Commission update. Uh, definitely expect more in the near future and expect some more customer appreciation videos in the near future. So I really hope you like this. Once again, our website is www.jadedpainting.com. Click on the link right here and it'll take you directly to our website. I think you'll really like it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we can def I can definitely paint up chaos. We can would love to paint up chaos for you. And yeah, check us out. And without further ado, again, again, this is Jay. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this video, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. As I mentioned, there will be some subscriber appreciation in the near future, so I recommend subscribing. So until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.